Okay, so we did part 13 through 17 on quest number four. It's the one asking, um, it's the one about an ice sled on, uh, on, a, rake, on a lake po powered by a rocket engine. And um, your givens are here. It's the acceleration for the one that everyone has is 14.9 meters a second squared. The total time is 89.4 seconds, and the total distance is 5,280 5, meters. And the first two parts ask for time one and time two. So basically, to find to find time one and time two, you're going to use this um, this kinem kinematic equation right here. Um, it's the fourth one on that chart that you have. And if you plug it in here, so you'll use that fourth one, and you'll plug in what you have, the givens. So you'll get, so you're finding for the, the displacement, you're, you're finding the displacement for this first part where it's accelerating. So you'll pl plug in the, um, the initial velocity, it starts at rest, so the, the initial velocity is zero, times time one, times one half, um, acceleration 14.9, times times, Time one squared, and when you when you simplify that down, you'll get um, delta x equals seven point four five times t one squared, and then that's as far as you can go. And then um, for the second for the second part over here, when the engine sh shuts off and it goes at a constant velocity, you will use. Um, you know, you know that the change in uh, displacement is velocity times time. And the velocity is basically the velocity that we got to this point. So it's the acceleration times time one. So that substitutes for V, the velocity, times time two. So basically you get acceleration 14.9 times T1 times T2, and that's as far as you can go. So then over here we know that X change in, we know that this plus this equals 5,280. So it's really long, but basically, oh, for, and you also know that T1 plus T2 equals 89.4 seconds, the total time. And so with substitution, you know that T1 equals 89.4 minus T2. So basically what you're gonna do is with this equation right here, you're gonna plug in these two, ch this chunk for, for this part, and this chunk for that for that part, and you'll get you'll get this big equation right here. Just plugging in these chunks, and since you have two variables, t1 and t2, you only you can only ha you only need one variable. You're gonna need only one variable to solve it. So right here, t1 equals 89.4 seconds minus t2. So we're gonna plug that chunk in for t1. Every time everywhere you see t1 in this big equation, so you'll get you'll get this long equation right here. Because, again, we, we, we know this equation, right? We plugged in this chunk for that, that, this chunk for that, and everywhere we saw T1, we plugged in this small chunk for T1. And you'll get this long equation, and it's a lot of work, but you, once you foil this out and, and multiply this and add them all together, a lot of things will cancel out. And eventually, you'll get T2 squared equals 7,283.64. And then you just take the, the square root of that. And so for T2, you'll get 84.34. And that's T2. That's part B. And then since we know the total time is 89.4 seconds, you just subtract this from 89.4, and you get T1, which is 4.05 seconds. So that's part A and B. So for part C, we're using um, another kinematic equation. Part C asks for Part C asks for velocity. So we're using the we're using um, this kinematic equation right here. Fi velocity final equals velocity initial plus acceleration times time. So velocity initial was zero because it started from rest. The um, Acceleration is 14.9, and the time, we're using the time from, we're using T1 for the time, because it, as you can see here, it gets up to this velocity, and then it goes constant. So you, you just need to know the velocity for up until the end of T1. 
So when you just when you multiply 14.9 times 4.05, you get 60.43 meters a second, and that's your velocity. So that's part C. And then part D. Part D asks, um, what is the final position of the sled when it comes to rest after it decelerates at 61 meters, 6100 meters? So you're going to use this equation, this kinematic equation. Um, You'll use this one. You'll find it on your chart. It's this kind of equation. And what you'll do is, since we need to find the displacement, how long, how far it went, you'll isolate delta x. So when you isolate delta x, you'll get this this equation. And then you get uh, velocity final squared minus velocity initial squared over 2 times the acceleration. So the velocity final was 0 because it says it. What is the what is the how far did it go until it came to a rest? So it's zero. Minus the velocity squared over two times the acceleration. And then in the problem, it, it says the acceleration is 7.4. And since it's decelerating, that would be a negative uh, acceleration. So it's two times negative 7.4. And when you do that, you will get the change in displacement as 246.7. 0.74, and it says at the 6100 meter mark it begins to decelerate. So you'll add the displacement plus 6100, 6, and you'll get 6346.75 meters. So basically, you're just find the, finding the displacement once it started decelerating, and then add that to 61 meters, and you'll get the final position, which is 63.46. So that is part D, part four out of five. Four out of five. And for the last part. You're using the, you're using another kinematic equation. Um, using this one again, right here. So you'll use this, but you all, but you want to find the time. It asks for um, how long does it take the sled to come to a rest. So you want to isolate time by subtracting velocity initial and then dividing by acceleration. So you'll get change in time equals velocity, final, vo final velocity minus initial velocity over acceleration. So the final velocity is, it, it comes to rest, so the final velocity is zero. The initial velocity is 60.43, like how we calculated over here. And then the acceleration is negative 7.4, like from the earlier problem. And then once you solve that, it's just simple. You just divide, you'll get 8.16 seconds. So overall, this is what we have. It's a really long problem, but hopefully this video helps you with it. All right. <laughs>